In January 2016, the Steve Irwin was patrolling the world's oceans in search of illegality. One morning, a set of six targets showed up on the Steve's radar, and we sent out the small boats to investigate these targets. These six targets turned out to be six fishing vessels that were fishing in the high seas of the South Indian Ocean. Over the next three days, we send the small boats out to investigate and collect evidence of these vessels and their fishing gear. We also had a chance to send in divers to actually dive on the nets and take a look at just what they were. And what we found was that these vessels were actually using drift nets, a band and an illegal form of fishing. Drift nets are a form of fishing gear that entangle all life that comes in contact with them. And because of just how indiscriminate they are, the United Nations Moratorium banned the use of drift nets on the high seas back in 1992. Having collected all this evidence, we were able to determine that this was a black and white case of illegality. The Steve Irwin decided to confront the fishing vessels and upon seeing the Steve Irwin arrive at the scene, one of the fishing vessels abandoned her fishing gear and ran away. With the abandoned drift net now in the water, we knew that we had a responsibility to pick it out of the ocean and bring it on board the Steve Irwin. In the five kilometers of drift net that we retrieved on board the Steve Irwin, we documented the bodies of 321 animals, including pelagic fish, sharks, dolphins, seals, and tuna, including the critically endangered southern bluefin tuna. Right now, the Steve Irwin is just days away from engaging with the Fu Yuan Yu fleet of fishing vessels once again. Operation Driftnet has been launched with the sole aim to confront these vessels, tackle their illegality, and shut them down. The Fu Yuan Yu fleet of vessels is violating at least 10 different international regulations. But the reality of the matter is that in the absence of enforcement, they will continue to fish every day, and in that process, take upwards of a thousand sharks every single day and all the other life that comes with this form of fishing. The role of the Steve Irwin and its crew is to expose this illegality to the world and work inside this enforcement vacuum to shut them down.